Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Vest Nerd Life and welcome to another episode of Nerdy Thrifts. A video series where I go around my local and not so local charity shops to try and find some nerdy bargains. And yeah, this week I've got some fantastic examples of big box PC games to show you. So without further ado, let's actually get to the video. Alright and then starting off in my local game UK to see if there's any bargains and in this particular case there was. I managed to find Everspace Star Edition for just 20p. <laughs> now that's a pretty decent deal. I didn't get a 3 for 2 offer or anything like that, I just got that one particular game. I think I can possibly trade that in for like six seven pounds so if that is something you want to do that is an option but for the time being i'll try it and see if it's all right moving on to primark here and i found a bunch of discounted playstation and marvel themed stuff uh, <laughs> like really not stuff that i wanted i'd have probably got one of those uh, uh water bottles if it was discounted but yeah just interesting to see dragon ball z as well uh, that was interesting, uh, but yeah, I've got enough mugs, I, d I don't need another mug, but people who do, it's pretty cool. Moving on here to this wheeled cart full of DVDs, and I found Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for the PC for 50p, which, to be honest, I've already got it, but just for the map itself, 50p is a pretty decent price. So yeah, um, I picked up 50p, why not? I could stick that uh, map up on my wall. On to another charity shop here and in the glass cabinet. I found a bunch of pops, which really I'm not too bothered about pops. Uh, I think they're a bit generic and boring. But you know what, there was a good collection here. Some Batman, some uh, sports ones, which uh, NHL, I don't know. I don't, I don't know any of that, but cool for some people I guess <laughs> but not for me moving on and I found a Mandalorian t-shirt um, yeah I mean for like a couple of quid why not it was a, a men's size but I actually got it for my fiance because she adores Baby Yoda, Grogu, whatever you call it uh, so yeah I got it for her and she was very very happy now on to another charity shop and media section here and I found Xbox Live Arcade for a couple of quid uh, and then just a couple of PlayStation 3 games, which as long-time viewers know, I don't really collect. But for people who wanted them, I guess they're a good deal. I don't know. I'm just not interested in PS3 games for the moment. Another glass cabinet here. And yeah, a couple of brand new PlayStation 5 games. These are probably the first PlayStation 5 games I've found in a charity shop. And for £15 each, they're not too bad of a deal. But you can actually get them cheaper at CEX, so, I mean, what's the point in, in paying £15 for them? Aside from, you know, the whole charity thing. On to an electronics section here, and I found a Wii, uh, unboxed with a bunch of like, accessories and stuff, and then something I don't find a lot of, an Xbox 360. Uh, I don't know if it's Red Ring. I Probably not, because they do test stuff. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I couldn't see a controller, though. Maybe that was... I don't know in the back but yeah I left it. I left both of these to be honest I don't need any of them. Above the summer hats I found a Mario cuddly toy and obviously the Mario movies just come out as I'm filming this. Yeah uh, for like a couple of quid I'm absolutely getting it. It's like an official Mario figure £2.50 fantastic price. I'm picking that up. It still had its like tag on the top so I don't know where that's come from, who's had it beforehand, I don't know. Okay, this next clip is the big box PC games. Yeah, I found the X-Files, uh, which is slightly battered, beaten up, uh, Baldur's Gate, uh, kind of base game. It's got Baldur's Gate, Tales of the Sword, Sword Coast, Expansion Pack, um, and also The Simpsons, Virgil Springfield. All for between £2, £7.50. Not as cheap as I would have wanted, but you know what? Seeing these on the shelf together like that, I absolutely had to get them all because I don't have any of these. What a find. Another find as well, uh, a Satek uh, joystick. Again, a little more expensive than I would have wanted. And to be honest, when I got it out of the packaging, 
it didn't feel great and i don't think it looked great um so <laughs> yeah despite me getting ex very excited seeing this thing in the end i didn't get it um but yeah it's just satek joystick thing in another section of the same store here and on the clothing shelving uh whatever they're called i found a <laughs> i think halo nightfall um t-shirt i don't know what halo nightfall is i think it's a animated film i i don't know i'm not real big into halo but it's cool to see anyway um a game themed uh t-shirt a thor's hammer one there yeah it's always interesting to see what you can get in a regular shop see if there's any nerdy merch moving on to a toys and board game section and i found a board game uh throw throw burrito this thing costs, I believe, $24.99, brand new. This one was sealed for $2.99. Like, <laughs> I've actually been wanting this for a long, long time because it's uh, from the creators of Exploding Kittens. And for $2.99, I'm absolutely picking that up. I split it with my fiance. What a find. Uh, behind the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire board game thing, I found the B-Movie, PlayStation 2. I was tempted to get this, to be honest, uh, for a couple of quid. I know the B movie is like horrendously memed right now, or just in general, but I, I don't know. I left it because, uh, yeah, it's the B movie. <laughs> On to a, another charity shop here, and there's quite a lot of footage from this place because it's a big charity shop. I found some Pokemon Chronicle DVDs for £2.50. Not a bad price at all. Although, I'm not really interested in having DVDs, so I left them. I just found this kind of... Uh, oh, also, Pokemon movie, uh, Clash, of, Clash of Ages. But then, yeah, this, uh, <laughs> this like guide booklet thing to all the Pokemon at the time, like over 700. Obviously, there's more now. My fiancé actually has this book, so I left it. On to the kind of media section, and I found this Dorb's Fallout figure. I do already have this, otherwise I would have picked it up for a couple of quid. Pretty cute, pretty cool, but yeah, as I said, I've got it, so I left it. And then on to the mother load of games for the Wii, PlayStation 2, Xbox, DS, etc, etc. There was a lot of stuff here, and I do go through a lot of it. Uh, none of it really caught my attention, uh, aside from Mass Effect 3, but I've already got it, so... Yeah, the majority of this, even though there's a lot of it and some pretty decent finds, I just left it for the people. Um, but they have a really substantial collection of like games, which is really interesting to see because you know a lot of charity shops just don't. So yeah, it's really cool. Uh, I was tempted with the Incredibles because I remember my cousin playing that as a kid. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty cool to see all this stuff. Now a little further along, I also found a bunch of PC CD games. And I always like to collect these because they're usually real cheap and really interested in random things like Pong. I don't know, like obviously it's Pong, a version of Pong, but I don't know, you know, what version it is. Um, but yeah, I just tend to find some really interesting random things and they're usually real cheap. For example, these are 50p. Uh, I found Sheep, which is a game I've wanted for a long, long time. I was tempted to buy that from eBay, but I waited and it paid off. Also, uh, I think that's Sega Rally Championship. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then this thing, Arcade, Pinball, Microsoft, Microsoft Arcade Pinball. Just a random selection of uh, pinball machines. Pretty cool. I also found a boxed Wii. It was £30. Everything seemed to be inside it, but it was like the same price as the unboxed one we saw earlier, so obviously this would have been the better deal. But I've already got one boxed so I left it. Uh, a um, wheel and pedal set for PlayStation 3 etc etc. GameCube. Yeah this was pretty pretty interesting um, but I just don't have space for this kind of stuff uh, but I would have liked to have picked it up but I didn't. I left it. Moving on to yet another charity shop and I found a bunch of PSP games which have been there for a long long time. They're not selling because they're really expensive. And then a bunch of PlayStation 3 games. Again, I'm not interested in buying them, but I thought I'd you know, leaf through them. Uncharted there is pretty cool. Uh, I just dropped that as well. <laughs> but yeah, just things that aren't really interesting to me, but I thought I'd share it anyway. 
and yeah, that is my haul for this particular video. I got a PlayStation 4 game, I got a bunch of PC games like the DVD case, just an XCD case, and big boxes. I also got a Mario plush, and also that throw, throw burrito board game type thing. Absolutely fantastic haul. I was so happy to find those big box PC games because they are getting rarer and rarer to find in charity shops. And four came along all at the same time. But in any case, if you enjoyed this video, then by all means like, comment, subscribe, do all that social media goodness, and as always, keep living that best nerd life.